Hey there kings and queens, welcome and welcome back to another edition of Daisy's Do's. So African hair threading is worn as a protective style or it can be used to stretch hair or be used as a base for various crochet hairstyles or be worn under wigs. So I feel like it's such an important skill to have to know how to do your own um african hair threading so i'm just going to start off by moisturizing and detangling my hair i already have a thorough video on this so make sure you check that one out i'm gonna make sure to show you guys how i use this as a base for many of my protective styles so make sure you have hit the subscribe button and you've switched on your notification bell so the thread you use to do your african hair threading is very important i usually love grabbing the brazilian hair wool um because it has hair like fibers that are similar to actual hair so that i'm able to moisturize it and as i'm protecting my hair or i'm stretching my hair i'm not actually sucking out any moisture from my actual hair so i make sure to also moisturize it just as i would my hair and i'm going to start by just measuring to see if i've done a proper you know little section and i'm going to start wrapping that thread around my hair so i want you to really observe how i do it when i begin i try and make it a little bit tight but not too tight that i actually you know grab and further damage my hairline um so yeah i keep on watching to see how i am actually wrapping this thread around i'm going to have a recap as well when i'm doing my other side so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end and do not skip anything <laughs> don't skip anything So this is a pattern you're supposed to create or is supposed to expect um when you want to actually use this to stretch your hair i recommend you make the spaces a little bit tighter i'm going to do another thorough video on how i actually stretch my hair without heat so make sure again to subscribe and switch on your notification bell so i'm just going to tie a knot and how i tie my knot is that i wrap the thread around one of my fingers and then i loop it into the thread and create a knot and i try to do this as many times as i can so i'm just going to redo my moisturizing technique and i'm going to show you guys how i actually extend from one part to the other So little disclaimer you guys will notice that my crown here is kind of shorter than the rest of my hair and that is because last year and beginning of this year I suffered a lot of crown breakage and if you guys would like a complete you know dedicated video on that and how I've been recovering yeah make sure you let me know down in the comment section so <laughs> um i'm going to try as much as possible to open the middle part but because i can't see um i thought i had <laughs> i thought i had but because i can't see it was sideways but not to worry it'll still work out either way the point is for you to just take that strand that you just created and put it somewhere in the middle there and then put it together and it's super cut the same so um i'll hold it together and i will do the process again um so i'm going to be showing you guys from the front so that you have a clear view of what i mean so here just as i showed you in my bantu knot video use the hand movements that make it more easier for you that feels natural to you so here i'm just going to be showing you the wrapping method from another angle and another side all together and 
uh, make sure you should slow mo this part if you don't quite get how I'm wrapping it around so that you actually get the most out of this video because I just feel like this is such an important skill for everyone to have and that's why I decided to show y'all this one and it's so easy compared to even cornrows which i'm going to show you in a later video but you see that this is the most easiest <laughs> the most easiest hairstyle to do i'm going to show you even how i make like different variations um with it i do make smaller ones as well and just you know spice it up and everything so i'm just going to show you guys again how i connect my strands to the back and the finished results so when you've connected it well you're just going to repeat the exact same wrapping process and you are done honey please don't forget to subscribe and support this see y'all in the next one